Hello, uh, good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you output caching or page level caching. You can say uh, in ESP dot net. Actually, output caching is applied as a output cache directive. So apply output cache with the duration and the vary by param attribute. Output cache actually caching is referred to the uh, page response. It it means caching is stored as well as client and server or any other locations but here we have a two things or you can say attribute duration and vary by param uh, the vary by param it means uh, the value of vary by param is none it means the fully page is cached in the memory cache memory for the 100 seconds Okay, here hundred is referred to hundred seconds. So I have a label control, and I want to show the date time on it. Label one dot text equals to date time dot now dot to string. That is server side. I will give you more examples. It's related to output caching or the page level caching. When we run it browser, then you can check it. The same time appear. Yeah, 23 seconds, 23 seconds, 23 seconds. But 12:19 is there. 23 seconds. So wait for 100 seconds to update the times and this is the logical thing actually caching is referred to uh, reduce the response time this page is cached and fastly responds to the client so you can use caching if a client uh, the system clock is represent 1220 but actual this clock is represent 1219 you can check it uh, my system clock is represent 1220 pm and uh, browser clock represent 1219 refresh it again after 100 seconds the time will again change B because after 100 seconds the cache memory the cache memory content or you can say page is removed from the cache memory and reloaded refresh contents okay this thing so you can use yeah time is updated after 100 second 12 21 the same thing uh, you can do uh, with the database table so drag and drop a grid view control and bind with SQL data source control uh, binding process is completed in my previous video tutorial but I uh, here I will give you a simple example of caching Suppose a employee want to get the record of all employees or you can say a visitor want to get the data the same data for uh, 100 time 100 seconds so you can save your page into the cache and get fast response and provide the fast response to the client so here we have a country table okay and here we have a country table now save this and run it again this uh, this is the country table in which we have two uh, uh, value India and park 
okay now run this application and save your uh, data for 100 seconds okay now in in this table we have two value india and park if we updated our uh, mm, table with the third row that is now uh, the third row updated oops the connection is closed actually so first of all oops scrap key and remove this again open for making connection and draw updated Australia yeah if we changes yeah properly changes because the hundred seconds is completed and again if we insert another value uh, like US and close it and refresh it US was uh, US not updated here because 100 seconds after completion US will automatically add it into the table but for the 100 seconds you can see this types of results so that page is saved into the cache and for the fast response you can do this things in ASP.NET if you uh, if your visitor want to save data for limited time of period then you can use cache uh, or you can say if your employee want to get uh, our employee profile then you can use cache but uh, for frequently changes your employees according to employee ID then use vary by um, param with the different parameters vary by param attribute if it takes with the different parameters this things I will do in my next video tutorial please keep watching my next video tutorials for vary by param attribute output caching with vary by param attribute now refresh it again and check your output us is added successfully so thank you thank you very much